gremlin known as Bean has awoken from his slumber. A wild bean. I'm gonna fucking rip your head off your shoulders, you cunts. God damn, I'm glad y'all set it off. Used to be hard, now you just went and saw Bert, you was down with the AK. And now I see you on a video with Michelet, looking like straight bozos. I saw it coming, that's why I went solo. It kept on stomping. Well, y'all motherfuckers need straight out of Compton. Living with the whites, one big house, and not another nigga in sight. I started off with too much cargo, drop four niggas, now I'm making all the dough. White man just fooling, the niggas with attitudes, who you fooling? Y'all niggas just phony, I put that on my mama and my dead homies. Yellow boys on your team, so you're losing. Hey, yo, Dre, stick to producing, calling me on a what? You Benedict, easy E, so you have to win in it quick. You got jealous when I got my own company. Trying to sound like America most You can yell all day, but you don't come close Cause you know I'm the one that flow You done run a hundred miles, but you still got one to go With the L-E-N-C-H-M-O-B And y'all disgrace to see PT Cause you get fucked out your green by a white boy With no Vaseline I would like to commandeer a chicken. I would also like a pet chicken. I would also like a pet chicken. I love a chicken as well, though. If we get
Hello and welcome to the inaugural Pond Pool Power League. This is the trophy that they are playing for. Magnificent, isn't it? Now, confirmation of the draw made earlier today. And the first match between Thomas Bridge and Bradley Sykes. Here's your announcer, Michael Horton. And now, a man who comes from lands different to ours. He's from different shores. Lock up your dogs and hide your cues. It's Tom Tornado Bridge! And now a man who won the local newspaper competition to be here. He enters as a wild card. Here he is. It's the Big Brad Wolf. It's Bradley Sykes. First round, Messrs Tom Bridge got off to a bad start, losing his first frame to some great positional play from Mr Sykes. He did, however, manage to claw his way back, but Sykes managed to hold for a 3-2 victory. The next matchup was the pre-tournament favour versus up-and-coming Luke Bean. And firstly, the favourite for the tournament... He's got several wins under his belt already. He's Nathan T-Bone Sean <laughs> And now, a man who's third favourite for this competition. Catch him if you can. Luke, the runner! This tie conjured up one of the matches of the tournament with young Luke Bean taking a surprising lead with the clearance of the tournament. After facing a seven ball humiliation, he went on to win the frame and match. The, fir the final first round tie was between Kane Bowman and Michael Horton. And now, a man who lived up to his name on Valentine's Day, it is Kane! Backbreaker Beaumont! And next, a hot shot in this tournament is Michael Methodical Hotter!
backbreaker Beaumont took a surprising 1-0 lead against pre-match favourite Michael Horton. The methodical Horton, however, rallied and his experience shone through as he overcame his opponent in a 3-2 thriller with some excellent queuing. Now, confirmation of the results from the first round, as Nathan the Bone Langhorn also progresses from the losers group to qualify for the semi-finals, we overcame the big Brad Wolf. Horton continued his winning form, overcoming a strong and unlucky Luke Bean in another 3-2 thriller. Confirmation now then of the final where Michael Horton will face Nathan Shaw Langhorn in front of a rowdy capacity crowd in the Moise and McVeigh Arena. We rejoin the action in the third frame with Langhorn 2-0 up in this best of five encounter. They only stopped filming that like, Shaw, Shaw Langhorn. Oh, Profits. Oh, okay. Did he last go over there? The boy in the corner. Oh, that's nice. Fine. Shh. Very good shot. Sensor bounce, get back on the table. Has anyone got a one-handed? Has anyone got like the phone? Ooh, I've thrown out that too. What's my off? 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 Oh, 
It's back in the game, final frame, he's back in the game with the final frame. <laughs> oh, it isn't now. I don't. Three rack. Oh, you fall, where's your fall? Because I think mine's oh, gonna go. Yeah. Who's got battery? Someone on the car. Come on. I know battery. I didn't go before the I've got 2% battery, I'll just go. Great sports for shit.
trophy. You can take the trophy for that. Two shots. Oh. Oh. After surviving a late rally by Horton where he levelled the match at 2 all, T-Bone surged to a 3-2 victory, his first ranking title since emerging on the circuit earlier this year. Mike was a sad and frustrated man. He was tired with his life. He found that everyone would laugh at him. And if they didn't laugh, they were just too happy for his liking. This angered Mike. And so he went on his laptop to search for ways to cheer himself up. And that was when he saw the image, the image that would change his life. His idea was born. He would become the Mulk. So Mike began to emulate the Hulk and put on some incredible size. But this was still not enough for Mike. He needed to become a real superhero. And so he began forming a plan and invited his friends over. Nathan, Kane, Bean, and Tom, all to join him on his quest to become a superhero and forge an alliance, an alliance that would fight for the causes of good and against the wickedness of evil, an alliance known as the Ulks. One by one they transformed Grulk, Mulk, Rulk, 
bulk. All but one man. No matter how hard Tombridge tried, he could not transform into his Ulk. This angered Tombridge, and he vowed to defeat the Ulks and prevent their quest from becoming successful before running away and punching a wall. The Ulks were astonished. Grub began to sob, but there was nothing that could stop Tombridge now. He was a man with a vengeance. Tombridge paced and paced in his study, still furious at his lack of talent, before he, as Mulk had done earlier, devised his own plan. He would need an army, and so set out to his local cave to gather some soldiers. He gathered them, as if by magic, he began to transform, and finally he would become the Almighty, the Vengeful. Evil Master Chul. He and the army set about plotting the downfall of the Ulks. He needed to lure them in, and so he decided he would use the one weak spot that the Ulks had in an attempt to prevent them from ever succeeding as superheroes. Chat 
through the chink we used to see. These days are over. What a good idea this was, Kane. What's the album? Is it hot pesto? Is that, or is that chilli, is it? <laughs> is you winding me up? Is that jalapeno, isn't it? Hey! No! <laughs> That's pesto. Why is it hot? It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. You put chilli powder on it! What? Oh, what? Hey, it's it's pesto. No, it's not! Pesto! Oh, that's well hot, man. That's chilli, isn't it? You want your chilli pesto! As the weather warms, water courses through every tree. And it <laughs> you bitch. It's nice with a bit of pesto on it. Let's not. You know what? Let's not what? End it right now. I'll then do some. Bridge wants a cuddle. I'm not being being. What? Bridge wants a cuddle. <laughs> 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 it was being funny, Bean. I went in your room before. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a bin, just in case I was sick in my room. That's nice. And there was a girl there on the bed, like. <laughs> I said, listen, love. Not being funny, but I'm looking for being not you. <laughs> Turn the light out. And I said, Where's the bin? And she didn't answer, and I said, Fuck off then. This is where I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Eh? Eh? Yeah,